Hey, welcome back. This is my Minecraft series on the PlayStation, and basically we're on video number five. I hope you've liked what you've seen so far. I'm going to show you um, video five picks up right after video uh, four, which was the middle part of day four. From this point, since we're no longer in survival mode, I'm not going to count the days. We're going to just basically go into thriving mode and eventually get to the point where we are uh, doing more than just sustaining. But first, you have to sustain your resources. So as you chop down trees, find saplings, and replace the trees so you don't have to go further and further away from home to get your wood supply. So every now and then, don't forget to plant trees. It's like Arbor Day. <laughs> so at any rate, back to the video. The purpose of this video is to um, not just show you uh, home decoration after home decoration, but the difference between the PlayStation version of Minecraft and the computer version of Minecraft. On the PlayStation of, uh, version of Minecraft, what you have is the ability to, one, use the menu to uh, better understand what uh, ingredients are required to make the special items that you need. Take a look at the menu and you'll see, you can literally scroll through every item you want up and down the list and in the bottom left corner as you shift items it'll show you the ingredients that are required and if it's highlighted in red it means that's what you're lacking. So it's a quick easy use of the menu. Pick up what you're looking for and build, go on and build. Now I'm going to I was basically still making cosmetic changes to my home, so I'm going to fast forward through all that. You don't need to see what I did with those blocks. <laughs> I just went to town basically making our blocks. And here you have um, another difference between the PlayStation version of Minecraft and the vi uh, video or the computer version is the PlayStation version of Minecraft allows you to save your progress. So that's a plus because you can save where you are in the game and if you... Um, are playing with friends or whatever you can just pick up right where you left off and your mistakes that you made after you're saving you can act like it didn't even happen so this is an example of why it's important to save I saved the game um, like I said I'm not gonna keep track of the days any longer we're just gonna go and play but I could have easily gotten killed right here because you know I was a surprise attack Spider took me off guard. I'm freaking out. Like, what the heck? I could have died. That could have been a whole lot worse than it was. And if I w didn't want that experience, I could stop the game, reload, and go from there. But fortunately, that's one thing that's an added feature that makes Minecraft on the PlayStation slightly better than your computer version. So, at any rate, uh, back to fi uh, back to building. I'm going to head back in and uh, well, actually, no, there was another spider over here. I totally forgot. A spider spawned inside my farm, which totally defeats the purpose of having a fence line. But I went ahead and dealt with it. If that fence line wasn't there, that spider could have easily helped out his buddy as they were as he was attacking me at my porch. Although spider. I guess technically he could climb over the fence if he detected me. But at any rate. So as day four comes to a close, and I said I was going to keep track of days, but it's getting late. It's time to head on inside. Business as usual. That spider dropped uh, some webs so I can use those webs to make a fishing pole. Again, with the special menu, I could open it up and when I first played Minecraft on the computer, I didn't even know there was a fishing rod. But fortunately, as you discover new ingredients, you can go to your menu and say, hey, what can I build with that? So you scroll through, and when you see something interesting, like for example the fishing rod, and you see that you have nothing red on there, go ahead and make one. I'm going to fast forward. And also another thing about the PlayStation version, there's little instructions on how to use the technology or devices or tools that you discover. They're up in the top right corner. You can just scroll through and it'll tell you exactly what that tool does and how it's used and the byproducts of that tool in most cases. So, it's late. I'm not going to do any nighttime fishing. You would never catch me outside just with uh, <laughs> anything going on, really, unless I absolutely needed to be outside at night. For the most part, 
I'm strictly a, a daytime creature, can completely uh, trying to rest at night. So at any rate, the uh, menus pop up for the PlayStation version of Minecraft, which is very helpful for those who never played Minecraft before. So this is one of those games that you could have zero experience with, jump in, and quickly become a pro with the help of these videos as well. So fast forward back to making changes. Now as I dropped off from last uh, video, I was in the process of making glass. Here I'm going to show you what you can do with glass. Um, like I said, it adds a little bit of uh, cosmetic change to your home and also allows you to uh, bring light in and be more observant of what's outside. You can spot threats at a distance without having the, th the, the means to have to go outside. You can do it from the comfort of your own home. And there are two types of glass, glass blocks and pane glass. Here I'll il illustrate the use of this glass and pane glass form. Make a nice huge bay window. Now the thing with glass is one of those few ingredients that if you place it and you misplace it, uh, you break it, it's gone. You're not going to be able to pick it back up once you shatter it. So if you accidentally place something somewhere you didn't want, uh, well, just keep extra glass on hand because you'll get, you'll destroy it if you try to remove it. So I'm not going to bore you with how I designed this entire corridor. I'll show you a, maybe a before and after. So take a look. At, here's the before. And um, I don't know, maybe by the time I get to video number 10 or something, you'll see the entire place completed. Who knows? I have, have no idea how much... Uh, how long it's going to take me to get to that point. But at any rate, let's jump to the, another area. I finished this pane glass. Um, let's go to the front entrance. I started working on the glass there as well. And I stopped using the pane glass so much and decided just to use the glass blocks. Personally, I think it looks better. It looks cleaner. But that's just me. Like I said, as you can tell, I actually like the aesthetics. I like a more symmetrical look. I try to go for smooth lines, make the house look impressive as opposed to just a functional piece of real estate. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to tell you about? Well, that's pretty much it. Um, later videos, I'll show you uh, more progression Th those are basically the biggest differences in control the fact that you can save the game on the PlayStation version so that if you make a mistake you can always go back to a previous save um, cosmetic changes don't forget to replenish your wood supply by planting trees and save often just in case you make mistakes along the way and enjoy um, and I know Let's see, in a later vision I'll have, uh, I'll tell you more about the multiplayer aspect of the game. But until then, uh, follow my series, make comments, like my page, and um, I'll hopefully see one of you all later on. Talk to you later. Enjoy.